to another video. So this week's spares idea is bag. <laughs> right, hella four. So we can buy diamond painting bag kits, but they're about six quid. Uh, about five, six quid, didn't they? Four, five pounds, something like that. Um, from all the different websites and everything. And I thought, why can't we do it ourselves? So, what we need, B7000 glue. That stuff. If you haven't already got yourself some, and you, you can order it for yourself from AliExpress, go in there. It's about two, it cost me about £2.50 for the big tube. It did take a while to get through customs for the UK, but it does eventually get through. It got stuck in customs in the UK for about a month. And obviously for UK customs, that is a very, very long time. Normally it's just a day or two, things get stuck in customs. So yeah, so give yourself plenty of time to order things and everything, you know. But yeah, this is this week's idea. So I was in the works doing a bit of crimbo shopping and all that. And I saw this bag and I thought, Oh, that will be a good idea. And I needed a bag. I said, oh, can I have a bag, please? She said, yeah, any particular one. I went, oh, the dream big one, please. So I saw the bag, and obviously because the dots on it, and I thought, that is a good idea. So, yeah, we are going to be diamond painting the bag. So, yeah, get yourself some B7000 glue. If you haven't got that, go look at your pound shop. They've got all different types of glues in there, which will still work. Uh, I don't know how well they'll stick on. Um, I know the B7000 glue will definitely stick them on solid, you know, because obviously that stuff, it just it is more than a super glue, I tell you, it's like cement. But they do have like epoxy glue in there. They have all different types of glues in there. So yeah, it's well worth looking at the local power line because they've got a lot of different glues. But yeah, for me, I'll be using the B7000 fantastic absolutely love that glue i tell you um i will be ordering most basically i think myself one every month because it's just more than everything i can use and do and everything else so yeah i, I this is just a promo for b7000 glue isn't it <laughs> so yeah this is this week's flare project so i thought that would make a fun little project you know do dream big and all different colour dots all over it. So let's get cracking and let's see how we get on. Right, so for this, I'm reusing the old B7000 because this stuff is amazing. If you haven't got any, get on AliExpress and order yourself some. It cost me about £2 odd for this big, massive tube. So yeah, get on AliExpress, order yourself some. This stuff is the bee's knees, I'll tell you. So I'm going to start with the... Um, the letters as you can see i do have like quite a good these quite big letters from this bag i got from the works so you guys and you can use any old bag though you haven't got to go to the works and get it but i just thought when i saw the bag i thought that would make a fantastic project So I'm going to start with the D. I'm going to stick to the same colour for the, the letters. Well, I'll see how far my yellows go. They might not go that far. So we shall see. Yeah, I just tend to just see things and just think, oh, that would make a good spares project. 
But yeah, don't ask me what, how on earth I think of these things. I just see something and I just think, I do, I just, just think, oh, that, that will make a good spare project. So I was like, yeah, because um, normally people just sell any old bag when they get a bag in the shop. But I was like, oh, can I have the dream big one, please? Smell good, isn't it? left now not much left now not got much left of this now to do it is coming out how I hoped it come out and obviously I can go slightly over and everything so it because it doesn't it won't affect it or nothing yeah I'm really, really loving how this is coming out, and like this project is ideal if you if you're short on a few colours or you know if you don't have many bulks or anything. So yeah, this one is ideal if you haven't got loads of bulk colours or anything. You can use your itty, itty bits and everything. So yeah, I really, really am liking how this is coming out i haven't got many circles left i just saw this in the shop and i thought that make a good spares project i i just see stuff and i think oh so now i have the week i have a week of work which is really nice It's my, I've got my birthday in a week, so I put the week of work that runs around my birthday. Then Sunday at 7 pm UK time, I will be doing my first ever live. I started playing around with a few bits and everything, so um, seeing how I can do and everything, I'm gonna be having. I need a mess about <clears throat> with all that and everything. Good job I did check and everything in advance because you have to do a couple of bits and everything and then it, it approves it 24 hours later. So good job I did check and just didn't go ahead and thought, oh, I'll just press the live on Sunday and then hope for the best. Otherwise there would have been no live. So, yeah. So good job I did check. Um, I am looking forward to it. I am. Oh, my husband just cracked his knuckles. I hate that sound. Um, oh, 
I'll have to say, I am debating using a uh, like a wooden cutout, like a little thin one on it. I'm debating, I'm not sure though. I have to go up to my mum's at some point and nick a load of, um, she's got a load of reds and whites and all that, so I can use them too. But yeah. Do, 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 do. Another yellow. Weird colour, it's not quite yellow, but it's not quite orange. I know there's some green to mix some of this. Don't forget this B7000 glue is quite strong. So it's got a strong smell to it. But I put my other pen down somewhere and I ain't got a clue where to put it. No, oh, well, never mind. It'll be here somewhere. I'm always putting stuff down. I will be getting in my spare room today and starting to sort that out because it's just it's just turned into a mess, a whole big massive mess. And then what I'll do, I'll drag the Christmas tree out at the same time, so I haven't got to drag it out again. So. And then I can get in there like more sorted. I think I'm thinking about changing the direction, the position of where we record and everything. So now I've been safe for ages. I'm going to be getting that spare room sorted out. And this is the week for it. I'm not going anywhere this week. Well, obviously just bits and pieces, but like I'm not going away. So I actually have time to do it. I know um I have mentioned a couple of times what you need for the live. Um get yourself a cheap Christmas stocking, some paper. Or get yourself like a um, like a little cardboard cutout or something. So you can draw like a Santa face or something on. <coughs> when you're doing this, I've noticed something. When you're doing this with the um, these ones, these type, um, make sure you let it dry for a minute because it'll go a bit funny. So to make sure they're all like clear still, leave them thingy, otherwise the metal on the back has like a reaction with the glue if it's too wet. So keep an eye out for that.
I haven't really got much planned this week. I need to um get Imogen's bit sorted and sent off to her. Uh, what else? Obviously live on Sunday. And then really Tuesday going out for dinner. Plan to meet up with my sister. Um, at some point. This week, which will be nice. So that should be, you know, that'll be nice. Spend a few hours with her. I just got a blue and a yellow there. Seriously, last two half circles <sighs> left. Maybe they go a bit off when you just try to get in that last drill, honestly. I don't. Oh, I wish I did this last colour. Mm. Let's go for these ones again. I got a bit lucky the other day. Um, usually I miss out, like, miss out on like giving away posts, but um, somebody the other day on one of the groups I'm on said they had a massive bag of mixed favor. They were good. They didn't want somebody could have, and I thought, well, I don't mind the mix because like I can do like bulk areas with them. So yeah, I managed to snag that up from somebody, which is really good. So now I have a massive bag of square and massive bag of round mixed, which is nice. So now if I do want mixed drills, I am I do have um like this 
But there's all different sizes, all different shapes in there. There's special, like there's the rhinestone, there is square, and there is round. So they are completely mixed. So I do slowly use that as well. But yeah, I, if someone's giving away for free, I, I do snatch them up. Sounds selfish, but when you do as many spares projects as me, and take advantage, you know, you've got to snatch them up when you can, as they do come in extremely handy. Yeah, so they're in the um, live on Sunday. Obviously, I will be doing part of my birthday giveaway, um, and then I'll do the other part in a video. Obviously, I don't put it in the description. It's just in the talky talky section. So. Keep an eye out for that. And any one more lot of the I can't afford to get it sorted out. No. I am just going to do that last little part. With these, you know that? hopefully, you can see that. Yeah, I could just put my finger in the screen. Obviously, you can like decorate the whole thing. Yes, I am looking forward to Sunday. I am really nervous. Hope I don't mess it up and everything. So, if a couple of you can make it, that would be amazing. You feel like when you're doing these bags, the edge, it just, obviously it's raised up a little bit, so it's a bit more fiddly to do. It really is. Very really nearly done. Just some days I just don't know what to talk about. Oh yeah, I'm going to ask you guys, has anybody heard of fan wells? Not fan cells. Fan wells. It's something that's been trying to crop up into places and Obviously, they've taken the name fan cells, knowing how popular it is, and trying to get in on their name. I've, I haven't been contacted by them or nothing, but obviously I've seen them crop up on Instagram as following me. And I'm just a bit curious to see if anybody actually ordered from it. They're a complete scam, or they just. Literally taking that fan cells, good name. Because <coughs> obviously, we all, well, a lot of us love fan cells. I love fan cells. So, let me just uh, do the light off. There you go. What do you think? I love it. See, right. So if I hold this closer, hopefully you guys can see. So you see what I mean in the letters? Where the glue was really wet, it's like I had a, like, a reaction with the back of the drills. And it's just made them go a bit um, frosty. 
so that's why I said like give it a few sec like a minute and it was like goes the um glue will go like a bit hazy when it's a bit more dry that's when it's good to put on so i blow it for a few seconds and it'll go like, go like a go like slightly cloudy and then put the drills on to make them all nice and clear i was realizing that as i was going along so you can see like here it's all nice and clear they're all good but when i first started doing it there was like a reaction but it still looks really good Obviously, at a distance, you won't notice this. There's like all got a bit of a haze to them. But yeah, really, really pleased with how that looks. Super shiny. And obviously, you can if you wanted to cover in all the gaps. I'm personally not going to do that. I don't have time. <laughs> um, I thought this was going to be quite a quick project, but it really wasn't. It's surprising how long doing all these little circles took so obviously, I was, obviously with the, the letters i could just use them on multi -placer, but for the circles i couldn't it wouldn't have worked out very well if i used my multi -placer, so yeah but really really pleased how that looks i think that it's really really stunning so let's go and do the old outro shall we so my bag is done what do you guys think it's extremely blingy so yeah, you can like do um like not like Christmas bags and all that decorate our Christmas bags instead of like um like the normal gift bags and it like I just thought something a little something that stuck on the bag as per usual for me. So yeah, I thought I saw it in the shop and I thought oh that make a good spares idea and yeah I thought why why not go for it? So yeah, really do like how it's come out and then obviously that's the other side and how it actually is without so yeah really do like how it's come out uh yeah you yeah like i said you get yourself christmas bags or but like anything like you think could be good for a birthday and and i thought myself with my nan's birthday the other day and i thought every year like for example if i don't have a chance to wrap her present i'll put it in a gift bag and I thought, why not just buy a reusable bag, like a bag for life, because you get some really nice bags for life, put it in the bag for life, and they've got a new shopping bag. And you know, my nana going, I was like, oh, do you want your bag back? I was like, no, go part your, your, well, not part of your birthday present, but I thought, instead of giving it, giving you a um, gift bag that, well, to be honest, my nana always uses the gift bags anyway, she always passes them on. <laughs> but yeah, um, so instead of um, doing that, you know, she's actually got another shopping bag. She's like, well, I do need a new shopping bag, to be honest, Gem. So she's, I've got one that that's just broken. I was like, there you go, sorted. So I said, but I said to her, Nan, um, bag for life, you normally can take back and then swap for a new one for nothing. I said, that's what a lot of bag for life, you know, from my supermarkets and that. If you've got a broken bag for life, take it back and I'll swap it for another one. Normally that's the case with a lot of, not always, but nine times out of ten, they do. But a lot of people forget that too, though. So yeah, that is my, my bag. So yeah, I am really, really pleased how it's come out. And I thought, this one, the design, I've got this from the works for those of you that are in the UK. If you don't have like, if you have loads of spares but no bulk of colours, I thought this, because you can always do the letters all different colours, that's why you don't have to stick to the yellow. Because I know I stuck to the yellow because the letters are yellow. But you don't have to. You can do all different letters or if you've got like bulk, bulk black or whatever, you can just do that, that colour instead. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased how it come out. Super shiny, it's, you know, really pretty. And, like... I'd love to see somebody do one in Christmas, you know, a Christmas bag. I think that would look really nice. I, I don't think I'll get time to do it, which makes me sad. But because obviously this girl's got to keep on with the other spares ideas, don't she? So, do you know what? YouTube's going mental at the moment. I just keep seeing notifications and I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I just, just see a notification. I don't see what it says. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Right, so yeah, that is me bag. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this. I spare I did because I'm really pleased with it. I think it's come out fab. I think it might um it's too big though. I was thinking about sending it all images and goodies over to her in this, but I don't think it's gonna fit in the bag without me having to um fold it over and I don't see a part where I can really oh I could fold it I could fold it there I could and then send it to her like that then I might send it to my friend Imogen I might I don't know yet but yeah so that is this week's spare idea thank you ever so much for watching the like I said, don't forget to leave me a comment down below in the comments what you think of this week's spares idea if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe i really appreciate it and uh, yeah so sunday is my live seven, seven o'clock uk time uh, if you're not sure roughly what time that is for other places i think for example in australia that's six o'clock the next morning to, to monday morning for australia because i think they're about 11 hours ahead uh so you're not sure type in 7 p.m uk time to where you are on google and it will come up and tell you is exactly what time it is uh where you are so you know if you can make it or not if you can't make it please don't be upset i'm only going to do in part of the giveaway because i normally do two people uk two people our countries in my my giveaways but this time i'll just do the one that are live for each of one uk one other countries and then um, in another video, I shall do, um, what do you call it? I don't know, what am I doing there? I don't know. Uh, I shall do the other part of the giveaway. Um, so the other, it's another person for the UK, another person for other countries. So yeah, I'm gonna get going and, um, cause I need to get Imogen's bits and pieces wrapped for her get them sent off to her and i've got a parcel coming today and i need to get the spare room sorted and yeah i've got a week off work but i don't think i'm gonna really really stopping and relaxing and all this jargon so yeah so that is it for this video thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you next time bye everyone